AI firms are unleashing a force that they don't even understand. Michelle Donovan warns. Let's read into this exclusive from iNews, guys. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Ali here with an exclusive from iNews with a headline that AI firms are unleashing a force that they don't even understand. Well, they don't understand that. Michelle Donovan warns. The science secretary said that AI could be used by terror terrorists to build dangerous biological weapons. <coughs> now, um, I'm just going to take a step back on that. Biological weapons, I'm not sure about that. I could be wrong. But I do believe that AI can be used by terrorists if used in the right way. That is a worrying thing to say the least. That's for sure. But let's read. Let's read more into what um, uh, what what he had to say. So artificial intelligence poses dangers because it, even its creators do not understand how it works. The science and technology secretary has warned. Michelle Donovan cautioned that the AI may allow terrorists to develop dangerous new bio bioweapons and crippled key infrastructures with cyber attacks. And she revealed that the upcoming AI safety summit hosted in Britain with dozens of world leaders attending will focus in parallel with twin risks of misuse that bad actors and the technology running out of control and threaten humanity's future. Writing for the eye, Ms. Sullivan suggested that the development of AI was a more dramatic initiation than aviation or space explanation. She pointed out that within five years, the technology has shown remarkable advances now being able to translate novels and create websites from scratch. Ms. Donovan said, For all the benefits AI is bringing us today, I want us to be vigilant about the risks that we will face tomorrow. Right now, leading AI companies are increasing their investment in this technology a hundredfold. AI, if you really put your mind into it and you learn how to, if you can use AI, if you use it right, you can use it to make money for yourself. You know, a lot of like, let's say for example, I wanted to, um, like the thing is, most websites, um, most some AIs, obviously, you need to pay to be a part of them. But some of the free ones, they can really just do things for you. They can really just speak for you. It it it, it is a powerful tool. If you got kids, you should encourage them to learn how to use AI, because that could make them make them a lot of money. Because this this is going to be the future. Whether we want it or not, obviously there needs to be laws, there needs to be checks and balances with artificial intelligence. But this is going to come to fruition more of it as as time passes on. Whether we want we want to want to have artificial intelligence in our lives or not, it is going to be the future. But yeah, I do think yeah that we can't always control artificial intelligence, but we need to have safety measures in to give us the best best possible protections that we can and obviously the danger of it being hand you know i think it is inevitable that things may end up in the hands of the wrong people as well and we need to make sure that we try to prevent that as much as human humanly possible shall we say don't put artificial intelligence in the don't give them the hands of some of the most powerful weapons on our on, on the planet for example because then you are just asking for trouble Um, this will yield extremely powerful modules, capabilities that no one, including the companies themselves, may fully understand. I want to see these modules being evaluated right rigorously before they are released so that people can have total confidence in their safety both now and in the future. 100% agree. She warned that AI regulation will require a global effort with UK attempting to take the lead in hosting the first international safety summit taking place at Blickley, at Bleachley Park in early November. Um, <clears throat> Global effort, that's the thing. Key cooperation between all the major major nations as well as some of the most powerful AI companies on the planet. That Having that kind of... Um, it, it's great talk, but putting it into action is another thing. And I'd like to say that it will be put into action, but... Yeah, I kind of don't have that much of a faith. Because, yeah, squabbles, we're humans, we squabble amongst each other, don't we? The two primary goals would be prevented misuse, the abuse of AI for hostile purposes and loss of control, which could happen if firms develop superhuman intelligence without ensuring it is closely aligned with our values and intention. Miss Donovan said, 
I want us to do everything within our power to ensure that AI can never be used by rogue, non-state actors to develop new weapons such as biological weapons or carry out cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. A number of scientific institutions and industry groups are holding events in the run-up to the AI summit to discuss how artificial intelligence can be used for good while not allowing the risks to run out of control. The Alan Turing Institute, Royal Society, Tech UK and British Academy are among those taking part. Rishi Sunak has said he wants the UK to be a global pioneer in AI safety coordination, including the establishment of an international watchdog that could be based in London. The summit in November will be attended by leaders from Europe and elsewhere. Joe Biden is not coming, but the US Vice President Kamala Harris is going in his place. Yeah, um, we should be concerned about AI. Um, I, I think it's um, I think it's a, a good food for, for full, I would say, on AI. But like I've said in the, in the, in the video, like I said earlier, guys, so it is coming it is inevitable um artificial intelligence and we've, we've already got it here but it's only going to get more advanced and it's already going to it's going to have it's it's going to have an impact on our lives it's going to and it's going to also another key thing is it's going to it's going to take over people's jobs it's going to people who some people's jobs are going to be replaced by AI. That is an inevitable thing. And the world needs to be able to transition these kinds of people either into new kinds of work or retirement or whatever that may be. And we need to be ready and prepared for that. Not just the UK government, all governments need to be ready to prepare for this when this happens. But is it going to be smooth sailing? I don't think so. With this current government that we have in play in the UK, no. But would Labour take it seriously? Yes, I think they would. I think they would. And I think yeah, them, along with some other nations, will try to coordinate. Obviously, there are tensions. with. Uh, there is always going to be tensions. But when it comes to world security, I do think yeah, there, there will be some serious talk about it. But it will be interesting in November to see how uh, these leaders react. To this and how these we have these discussions as well with these companies and what best measures hopefully they'll have some serious security measures to talk about that is for sure guys what do you guys make of artificial intelligence what do you make of these firms do you think they have a great under do you agree with michelle that they don't have a, a full understanding of them uh, let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think like share and subscribe as always thank you very much for watching and i hope to catch you all very very soon Thank <laughs> you.